Hey, what's up? So I'm just going to give you a quick walk through right here. Um, yeah, sorry, I got a little bit of a headache. Also down at the dining table, my kids are watching a movie. It's all good. You can play the movie. It's fine. And um, But these are the funnels. There's a buy or sell funnel, new listing. Like I'll just, yeah, new listing funnel. People can request a tour. And there's a thank you confirmation page. Everything's updated with custom values. So like your headshot would go right there, give some information about the house. Uh, this one, what I would do is um, if you have like multiple listings that you kind of want to bring leads in for, just clone it and very quickly create a new funnel for each listing and then just change the name to the address. Um, buy and sell funnels. This is super straightforward for like a non-branded pay-per-click campaign, something like that. Um, so like the main landing page will look something like this. Trust real estate, buy a home, sell a home, you know, reviews, simple image, logo, email. Just a why choose us section, how it works, giving some basic information. This is like a direct marketing campaign, um, pretty straightforward. If they click buy, takes them to that landing page. If they click sell, takes them to a landing page. Super easy. Open house attendees. This is for um, people that attend an open house. You can have a QR code. You can have a link. You can have an iPad or something set up right there. And it's just thank you for joining us. They put name, phone number, email, and then they check in. I got to fix a little bit of a spacing issue here. So I... I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Cool, took about a minute. I fixed the spacing on there. Um, yep, a testimonial. You can just copy and paste the Google testimonial and you can put a, like go to Google Maps, type in the address and just place a map right there. Um, once they, you know, once they fill that out, it just takes them to this confirmed page where, you know, it gives them a little bit of information the realtor's name, stuff like that. Let's see what else we got here. Jude, quiet down a little, buddy. And then the seller pre-listing checklist. Um, this is a good lead magnet to get seller leads using Facebook ads or as like a resource to give out to people. Um, I have the, the checklist loaded and so you literally don't have to do anything with this. Um, it automatically links out and delivers the PDF. So there's the opt-in page, here's the confirmation page. I'll show you this one. Opt-in page is straightforward. Um, I have automation set up to deliver the PDF, but people can go ahead and just click it and it will open up the PDF so they can print it out, they can use it, whatever. It's just a, a good resource, non-branded resource, so something that you don't have to customize or anything. Um, yeah. Have a full website, which has a home page. This is branded for the real estate agent. Home page, buy page, sell page, um, a blog post that you can duplicate and you can rewrite the content. You can have a bunch of articles and things out there. Use ChatGPT to come up with some content and spins. Um, you have a calendar. Once someone fills out one of these forms, they get redirected to the calendar. Once they fill out the calendar, book an appointment, they get redirected to the appointment confirmed page. If there's any hot leads that come through, referrals or anything, you can give them this calendar. I have different automations set up for the hot leads and referrals. And here's a whole bunch of automations that you get as well. Um, appointment automations, got buyers, sellers, you know, different leads that come in. Um, hot referral appointment confirmation. So this is the hot referral calendar, seller appointments, buyer appointments. And these are the different other nurtures. Um, buyer requests a showing from that, you know, request a showing campaign. Long-term new buyer leads. If any buyers come in through any of the funnels or campaigns, but they don't convert, then they go into this long-term drip. Um, home list, listing ads from Facebook. If you're not using the landing page, these are specific to people that come in through lead ads on Facebook. Open house visitor campaign. Jude, quiet please. 
the new buyer lead, uh, a PDF guide, new seller lead, new seller lead PDF guide, seller long-term drip, same thing, 415 days. Anyone that doesn't convert and become a seller, get under contract, they're going to this long-term drip, and then closing date anniversaries. We have three different pipelines. We have um, buyers that are in the search phase, new leads, all the way up through um, long-term nurture, they're ready for purchase, due diligence, all that stuff. Once they sign a contract, that's they're actually in the purchase phase, and then a seller lead pipeline as well. New lead contact, appointment book, qualified under contract, listed in MLS, offer made, offer accepted, active closing, closing scheduled, closing complete, or long-term nurture, and they're lost. So, custom values. Well, let me just hop over there. These are all the custom values that are used to fill out the funnels, fill out the website. Um, don't need these ones. There's been some funny work going on with uh, high level lately. Things getting like wires getting crossed and stuff. Okay, cool. So yeah, 14 custom values gets everything built and launched in about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, this is it. It's solid. It's awesome. Works really well and uh, can make you and your clients a whole lot of money.